Mary. I'm the tween teen librarian at the Huron Public Library and I'm so glad you joined me today. You will have a fun experience painting a gnome and they are so easy you'd be surprised. So we're going to do a gnome soap dispenser and it kind of goes with the COVID-19 and the popularity of gnomes. So let's get started. You should have picked your kit up at the carryout, and inside your kit, you will have the soap dispenser and the lid, the applicator. You will have black, red, white, flesh tone, and gray paint. And then you will have a container that says finish, and that is the varnish that you finish it with it at the end and it's marked so you know the difference between the white paint and the finish. You will find that you have vinyl that says wash your hands and then transfer paper. It's contact paper, but we call it transfer paper. You will need to supply a pencil, a black marker, paint brushes. I have a little smaller paint brush for details and then a wider one. You will need a plate to mix your paint on, paper towels, water, and then an alcohol to wipe off your container to get it prepared. First of all, you need to prepare your bottle. Take your alcohol. If you have a cotton ball with alcohol, I just have an alcohol swab. You take and you just clean your jar going over the whole jar and it prepares it and it makes it clean so the paint adheres a little better. After you get it cleaned, you take your chalk paint. Chalk paint is amazing. It covers everything. It covers plastic, it covers glass, wood, anything you like, it will cover. The thing about chalk paint is sometimes you have to put two coats on. So this you're going to take and I am going to go up and down and get this covered. It is better to put two thin coats on than one thick. And then if your paint gets thick, add a little water. Then I would let it dry maybe 10, 15 minutes. And what I would do is to cheat I put it by the furnace, or you can take a hair dryer and blow it dry. All right, now that your jar is dry, this is what it should look like. It should have a nice, even coat of gray. We will take and start the gnome. We'll draw a nose on first, and then we'll paint it on. It doesn't really matter what order you do this in, but I like to start with the nose for the gnome because then everything else works around it. So we'll grab our pencil and we'll get to drawing. All right, the nose of the gnome is about the size of a dime. I'm going to leave a little space at the bottom, about a finger's width to put my words on. So let's start up here and let's just draw a large size circle. The hat, you can decide. This one is a little floppy. It's straight up and it flops over. And this one here just dangles. I'm going to do this style here of where it's just a little bit of slouch. Here's the nose. I want my hat to come down either side of the nose. And then I'm going to take and just have fun with it. I'm going to come up here, I'm going to have it slouched down and like this. To paint the nose, you will need the flesh colored paint. It does not require a lot, so that's why you didn't get so much. Take a little bit, load your brush, and just paint away. It is a circle. When you get that done, I'm going to wash out my brush, wipe it out, and I'm going to grab the white 
and I want to put a little bit of accents in the middle of the circle for the nose. So I put, I load my brush with a little bit of paint, wipe it off, and I just form. I don't want it real white. I just want it enough to give a hint of color. Okay. We'll stop there. The hat, I'm going to undercoat with white. So I'll take my white, and remember I have my line that kind of curves up around my nose. Okay, draw your lines like this, and then you have it like so. Next step, we will undercoat the beard. I did that with the black paint, and it's wispy. So I try to keep a dry brush. I take, add a little paint to my brush, wipe it off. Around the nose, I want it accented in black, or I want it shadowed a little bit. So I just kind of do wispy motions down. Up here by the head, the beard is like a triangle or almost like a diamond. This is shorter than this that would be by his tummy. So make sure you have it long here and then you go up and by his shoulders, you make it a little shorter. I do not want to go too far because I would like to put the words at the bottom. So I'm going to give myself, because I also have shoes that we're going to add to him. So we'll just get a little bit more here. I want it to come out over his shoulder and cover up his hat a little bit. That's the first step. Next, I am going to switch brushes and have more of a flat brush than that one. like this, and I'm going to paint with the side of my brush. If you painted with me before, you know how that's done. So you take and you load your brush, wipe it off, and you go downward. And it just gives it a little bit of wispy look. This is the fun part. This is where you can just kind of put the paint where you want it and not worry. Now, I've got it gray and black. I would like to add just a little bit more white. This time I will not wipe so much white off my brush. And you just gently go down and now my white is fading so I'm going to wipe my brush off, add more paint, wipe my brush off, and make some wisps. The trick of this is stopping while you're ahead. It's not going to be perfect and it's not meant to be perfect. Okay. I'm going to stop there, I am almost, right there. I have his beard done. Always wash your brushes in between colors, unless you're blending like you did the beard. Well, I think I'll start with the shoes first. Let's show, start with the feet. The feet are just circles. Now I'm not real pleased where I have my shoe. It looks big. We'll see how it turns out, but I can always cover it with the beard. So I'm going up here and I'm just painting two half circles underneath there by his beard. Then over here, I'm going to have his hands on his hips. So I'm just 
going to draw a line here, like his shoulders, and they're coming down. And that's his shoulder. And then I'm going to draw a circle on his arm, so like that's his hand. And let's do the same over here. Draw the circle for his hands. Okay. I wash out my brush and I'm going to add white highlights to his hands and his feet. I'll take my white paint. And again, I'll wipe it off. We will add the detail on the hands, like on the wrist right there. I'll do a little bit on his arm here, and it doesn't take a lot. I'll do some on his foot. I want to separate his shoes. I'm going to come over here and do it on this other shoe. And then over here on the wrist. And then on the shoulder. Now, I don't like all the lines of my little gnome. So I'm going to add some wispy white and I'm going to cover some of this up. I find that if you start at the top, your bolder streaks will be at the top and by the time you get to the bottom, your brush loses its paint. So just play with it and have fun. Next step is the stripes on the hat, and I'm going to do it in gray, so I'll take my black. The only reason I use my chalk paint, my gray chalk paint, is for the background. The rest of it, you use the regular paint. Remember, when you have light, it doesn't take much to get it dark, so don't go over the top with the dark. Just add a little bit at a time. And I'll go over here and I'll go across. And remember this hat is squished up on his head so your lines do not need to be straight. Next we'll do the red. You take a little bit on your brush, you roll your brush on your paper towel to get a nice point, and then you come over here and you just accent it. If you do not like the looks of this when you're done, just undercoat it again and start again. I do that a lot. And there you go. Now that your gnome is dry, we are going to put the words, wash your hands at the bottom. So you take your vinyl letters and your transfer paper. Your vinyl letters you take, and to make them come off easier, just take and kind of flick them. See how you can see the white and the black? Just go through them and loosen them a little bit so that when you use the transfer paper, they'll slip on off. I have all my letters loosened. So then, next is the transfer paper. Take and loosen a corner and pull it off. And 
lay it down on your vinyl. I have one letter that came loose and I'll put that one on later. Take and rub that really well. I'm taking my fingernail and I'm kind of scraping at it. And then you pull the transfer paper off. If they stick, grab the bottom of the letter and pull the transfer paper so that your letters Stay on. If one of your letters comes loose, the sticky side will go up because you will want to put that on. The sticky side will adhere to your soap dispenser. Now, the sticky side you will take and I want to center it on the bottom underneath my gnome, put it in place, try to get it straight, and lay it down. And then you take your finger and you rub hard. And the last thing you need to do is remove your transfer paper. I have letters coming up so I'm taking my finger and I'm pushing them down. It isn't anything you can rush through. You need to take your time to do it right. See how I just go slowly and when I get to a letter, I take my finger and I push the beginning down so that it stays in place. There you go. Wash your hands. I'm going to rub that down. To add some highlights, I just want his nose to pop out, so I am going to just take my black marker and circle around it and around the hat here. And now I'm just smoothing it out around his nose, so it just makes it pop more. But when you're all finished with everything, you take your varnish or your finish, it's water-based, so you can clean it up easily with water. Take your brush, your brush should be relatively dry, and just start painting. It will dry clear. You'll have some white streaks. You do not really want to leave the white streaks. But try to smooth it out. It will take two coats, and I need to take the lid off here. It will take two coats and you'll need to let it dry in between the coats. Remember, when you do things like this, a light coat works better than globbing it on. And you can just cover up your letters. It isn't going to damage them in any way. It will give it a glow. It will make it a little bit waterproof. You will not want to clean it with Oh, like disinfectant, but you could easily wipe it off with a wet rag and it will keep it from removing the paint. So, And that is the last step. Let it set it aside, let it dry, then refinish it. If you would like, you could paint on the back side of it and do another gnome. That's your choice. There you have it.
your very own wash your hands gnome soap dispenser. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you had fun. Check us out on Facebook, HPL Tween Teen Scene. You can send me pictures of your finished projects because I love to post them. And join me next Saturday as we do a static electricity experiment kit. Thank you. Bye.